our opponents in this discussion are big-hearted and well-meaning and made a lot of good points. Um, humanitarian interventions do often fail. Too often governments engage in the desire to do something without thinking their way through what ought to be done, how to limit it in a way consistent with their limited interests in a particular problem, or with the limited opportunities that a particular problem uh, offers us. Uh, but to suggest that humanitarian intervention does more harm than good overlooks the numerous cases where it has done more good than harm. The Yazidi example, uh, intervention in the Balkans, both in Bosnia and in Kosovo, uh, interventions in East Timor, Sierra Leone, the French intervention now uh, in Mali is definitely doing more good than harm. These sometimes have a military component. They very often need a military component to freeze the situation in place because they're the re these crises are the result of political choices by political actors. And you're exactly right. Doing it well requires knowing a lot, coming in with a sense of humility and not trying to overwhelm local actors, but to set them up for success. And I still think the best commentary on this ever was from Edmund Burke, who said, the use of force alone is but temporary. It may subdue for a moment, but it does not remove the necessity of subduing again. And a society, a country, is never to be governed that must perpetually be conquered. In order to do humanitarian intervention well, you have to solve the underlying political problem. You have to create the basis for a different kind of sustained political agreement going forward. Thank <laughs> you.